हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल सिविलोजी द स्टडी ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग गाइस आई यूजुअली आस्क व्हाट इज द रेकमेंडेड स्लोप फॉर द फ्लोर्स एंड हाउ मच स्लोप इज टू बी प्रोवाइडेड टू प्रिवेंट वाटर पूलिंग स्टेनिंग डिसकलरेशन एंड डिटोरियोरेशन ऑफ द टाइल्स और कंक्रीट फ्लोर्स इन अदर वर्ड्स यू कैन से हाउ मच ग्रेडियंट इज नीडेड इन द टाइल फ्लोर्स और कंक्रीट फ्लोर्स सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दीज स्लोप एंड हाउ मच स्लोप शुड बी प्रोवाइडेड इन डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द फ्लोर एंड बिफोर वी स्टार्ट अवर टू डेज टॉपिक इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल यू आर रिक्वेस्टेड टू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट एंड डोंट फॉर गेट टू प्रेस द बेलाइकन टू गेट वीडियो अपडेट्स यू गैज आर रिक्वेस्टेड टू वॉच कंप्लीट वीडियो सो दैट यू डो नॉट मिस अ सिंगल इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट वॉच टिल दी एंड सो लेट स्टार्ट अवर टू डेज टॉपिक so let us understand first of all the importance of proper slope why do we need to provide a proper slope because we need to provide proper slope to prevent water pooling and water accumulation okay proper slope ensures that water flows off the surface rather than accumulating which help prevents water pooling as you can see over here in this picture when water collects on the tiles it can cause staining discoloration and even the tile deterioration over the time oh, and you guys are well familiar when water stays or water accumulates on the surface it deteriorates it starting discoloration and it start staining okay as you can see over here in this picture and by maintaining the right slope you can safeguard your outdoor tile installation and extends its life span so that's why it is important to maintain a proper slope and the second most important point is minimize slippery surface if water accumulates for the longer period on the surface of the floor it become slippery and water pooling on outdoor tiles can create slippery surfaces posing a safety risk okay and by providing a sufficient slope you promote proper water drainage reducing likelihood of slips and falls especially in areas prone to wet conditions okay now let us come towards the topic that what is the recommended slope for the floors let us discuss the general conditions first okay american concrete institute guidelines are 1 by 8 inch per foot inside and 1 by 4 inch feet per outside okay it's mean that if you travel 1 feet you will have to provide the slope of 1 by 8 inch in 1 feet for inside indoor okay and for outdoor you will have to provide 1 by 4 inch i hope you have understand the other recommended uh, the re reference for this uh, slope is the professional handbook of building construction published by john willy and sons new york it says that the recommended slope for the flat roof is usually 1% 1% which means that 1 by 8 inch per foot or 2% you can provide 2% which is 1 by 4 inch per foot according to the professional handbook of the building construction published by john willy and sons in new york the general guideline for the slope of tiled outdoor areas is minimum 1 ratio 60 what is 1 ratio 60 1 ratio 60 meaning that 1 inch drop per 60 inches uh, it's mean that if you have to travel 60 inches in this direction in a straight line you will have to provide a fall of 1 inch okay this fall or this height should be 1 inches in 60 inches okay and the this slope this slope it's mean that 1 ratio 60 slope allows water to flow naturally and ensures effective drainage okay and however for areas prone to heavy rainfall or for applications such as pool decks and steeper slope may be necessary to handle large volumes of water efficiently specific considerations like for balconies and decks for balconies and elevated decks should have a minimum slope of 1 ratio 80 or higher depending on the specific design and local building codes 
This slope prevents water from seeping into the underlying structure and causing damage. Another specific consideration is for pool decks. Pool decks should have a more pronounced slope, typically ranging from 1 ratio 50 to 1 ratio 30. Okay, for pool decks. This steeper gradient allows water to flow away from the pool area quickly and helps prevent water from infiltrating the pool shell or surrounding structures. And the third one is driveways and walkways. Okay, driveways and walkways should have a slope of 1 ratio 40 to ensure effective drainage and prevent water accumulation. This slope helps to keep the surface dry and minimizes the risk of slipping. So guys, that's all for today. If you are interested and want to know about some other topics, let me know in the comments. I will make a detailed video about that topic. Okay. And the related videos are given in the description. Must watch those videos. That's all for today.